All right, so now a lot of times I'd watch a review of a Monday Night Raw pay-per-view or SmackDown that cherry picks a lot of different motives, and that's a common way of reviewing an episode. Yet, oftentimes it means having 15 minutes worth of shit not worth mentioning, clicking past parts that you don't want to see, and it just takes a bitch of a time to upload. So I decided to make a system for reviewing these episodes, which I would call the key five moments of a Raw. And now I'm not going to do a Raw or Smackdown or pay-per-view review since since uh, that would take a lot of time, instead I'm going to make an evaluation. I'm going to make an evaluation based upon five different points. One is that there has to be a classic moment. This is anything worth clicking back to many months from now or many years from now. So that isn't a match. So let's say a promo or return, kind of like the return of Chris Jericho a few weeks ago. But of course, that raw sucked. That's because you also need a classic match. This is a match that you worth going back to months or years later. So it's one of those things that's worth going back to. An interesting theme, just like the one back when there was the walkout in Raw, or even when there was all Nexus matches last year on Raw. So there's got to be an interesting theme, or an interesting point, a point where you think that there is some content or quality inside of it that's maybe not worth checking out in the long run but it did capture you completely like let's say when CM Punk did the kiss my ass promo or when he said that he'll beat John Laurinaitis like a bitch well I'm sure that's not going to be a new Austrian than 316 but it'd be worth checking and then it also has to have a clincher it also has to have an ending that leaves you guessing or wanting more. And this is how I'd evaluate a Monday Night Raw or Smackdown or pay-per-view. I feel it's more compact and it's easier to explain. Yeah. So this has been Mr. Wonka 7 and SMD.